Hello, and welcome back to Building Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach in Minecraft. In my last video, I built all of the sewers, which was pretty challenging, but also fun at the same time. Today, I'll be doing something very special and finishing off not only the rest of the base pizza plex, but I'll also be building Princess Quest. Fully functional and as accurate as I can get it to Security Breach which I think was going to be really fun, and <laughs> I really can't wait. I don't know what I'm doing with commands at all, so uh, uh, I had a lot of help from Asbrin Siro. He helped me uh, with the Dreadbear stuff, if you remember that, and he once again helped here on Princess Quest and a couple other things going forward, if you catch my drift. So uh, let's just jump right into it. Let's just let's just let's just jump right into it and do that now.
and there we have the burn trap section all completed. This was all pretty simple, fun. Don't like caves. That's gonna be a real pain in the ass when when I have to do ruin. But uh, we'll, we'll get there when we get there, right? Um, I'm really proud of how this all turned out. I got to do a lot of uh, texturing with some of these walls, which I'm not used to, and I think it actually turned out really good. So let's finish off this video by going and trying to build some princess quest. And uh, after, uh, I'm going to try to show you how, how it all works. I don't really know how it works, but we'll, we'll get there. We're, we're...
that is Princess Quest completed. Before I get into uh, ending the video though, I feel like it is only right to uh, show you how this all works. So here we are in the salon, the back of the salon, uh, so nice and beautiful, and got the first Princess Quest. Now I'm not going to really show everything how it works, I'm not good at that, and I don't really uh, care enough to. <laughs> uh, but I, I am going to do a little playthrough. You can't hear it, but there is sound effects and everything. Uh, but Max can't record audio. So that's, that's a little fun fact for you. Um, oh shit, ow, fuck. We got these guys, these are my favorite guys, these little zombies. They're invisible zombies with um, their data change so they see you from uh, a little bit closer so it can't see you as far. And they have less health too for when uh, you need to use the sword in the second game. These, uh, these little these right there, those were actually suggested by my friend uh, Amy Bunny, who who play tested this game for me. She was a very big help in finding uh, some issues with with everything, and there was issues. There was actually a lot of issues, <laughs> but everything works now, so that's that's really all that matters. It was a very big help, and I'm very thankful that she would do that for me. So. Uh, Thank you. These are the other guys. These are the uh, ones that aren't invisible. Well, they are, but they have bodies. They're kind of, uh, they're kind of stupid. If you get too far away from them, they will just forget that you're there. There, as far as I'm aware, in Princess Quest, there's actually two different versions of these guys, where... Oh. Yeah, uh, as I was saying, there's actually two different versions of these guys, that... Uh, one, uh, they, they, they can see you from slightly farther away, and will continue chasing you after it spotted you. Uh, and and the other one, the other one is it it they just kind of forget you're there when you when you go when you go too far. So I kind of went with that second one because since it's since it's Minecraft, it makes it a little bit easier to get to to to, to live. Because it'd be just really annoying. It'd be really annoying if if, if you couldn't do that. Of course you guys can do that to me. That's great. Aren't they so cute? I might, um, I probably will. I'll probably gonna, gonna rename them so that it doesn't say, say killed, killed by a zombie there. I feel like that's, uh, that, that'd be good. A lot of, a lot of thunder. Okay, God. You can't, you can't even hear it, that's, that's... <laughs> like... Oh, a bunch of them. These guys, these guys I, I actually uh, had trouble with because for some reason they just refused to spawn a lot of the time. I got it working, but that's just a little fun fact for you, is, is that they, uh, they broke a lot. Here we are at the, uh, this is my favorite part. This is the, the, uh, courtyard, uh, missing children lantern bit. And this does work where you have to do it in the correct order. Okay. Ooh. And the bridge will come over.
nice maybe nice and easy if you ignore the part that i died i it's actually really easy beautiful this actually does say i always come back there um william afton you know it's william afton and that's the first one so let's go ahead and head over to princess quest 2 and there here we are at the second one this is in the back of the West Arcade. So you got the, the long haul here. And uh, here it is. Let's go. This one has my favorite mechanic. I'm I'm really happy about this. This You'll see it in a minute. Um, it's so cool. I didn't do it, uh, technically speaking. I had a lot of help with with this this in particular. But it's I think it's 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 probably the coolest thing I've ever seen in this game. While I tried to get all of the mechanics as accurate to Security Breach as possible, uh, there is one thing I did change, and that is that they do not actually drop hearts. And I did this uh, because since it is in Minecraft, it makes it a little bit harder to get everything and I just it, you know you gotta balance it for the game that you're in so I, I figured this was like a better way to, to do it to have it just automatically go makes it slightly easier uh, than what it would have been like oh yeah they uh their arrows get their their skeletons stuck in the ground, and their arrows get stuck on on these barriers here. I was gonna have them like teleport through, but that was like really buggy and looked awful, so I I didn't do that. My bad, guys. That's fucking sick, dude. That's awesome. Did you see that? Shoot that guy? That's crazy. Oh, I didn't even I didn't even know I didn't even mention that the, the light that, that follows you around. I love that so much. <laughs> and here this is this is the the greatest thing I've ever seen in this game. Are you ready for this? Did you see that? You can't, there's fire in the way, but... Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, oh my god. 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 That's in... That is... This is, this is insane. This is insane. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen. It's... I don't even know how this works. I'm good. I mean, I genuinely have no idea how this. How this... Oh, oh, oh. That's the greatest thing I've, I've of all time. This that was um. I had I had a lot of help for for just all of Princess Quest, but that in particular, that bit was done by uh, Asbrin Sero. He, he helped me with some of... He was the one that helped me with the... Uh, the pirate ride from Dreadbear. Um, if you remember that. And he's also helping me with a couple other things in this game. That you will see at some point. But that in particular, that was done 
like almost entirely by him. I think it was entirely done by him. Craziest thing I've ever seen. It's, 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 it's just awesome. It's so cool. I didn't think that was like a possible thing to, to do in this game, but, but here we are. And here we have another one. Yay. This, you can see there's like some particles here. This is because you can't, you can't uh, do the torches uh, on the, the purple ones. So I, I was trying to indicate that you're supposed to uh, do like the opposite. Uh, but uh, my play tester, Emily, had a lot of trouble uh, with this, so I thought these these particles might help make it clear that you're supposed to uh, light that bit of the floor instead. So. so now we got some more, and then I got another one over here that'll twist that one I don't know there. Yeah, I think I got it one more time. And there we go. Congratulations, your quest is done. Like, and that is the second princess quest. That one has. That's great. I I do think the third one might be a little bit better. So let's go and get into that one right now. And here we are, right above Bazer Blast. It's a very, uh, it's a beautiful sight. I love, I love this area. Um, so here's the third one. So we just gotta press this. Sword of Light. This one, this one, I think I'm, I'm this one's definitely my favorite. It has a lot of really fun. Uh, mechanics in it that I, I I just I adore. We're gonna see those coming through this one. They got these conveyor belt room. Ooh, and actually, um, my hands are off. You can't really tell, but my hands are off the the keyboard, and I'm I'm just I'm being dragged along. And I love that. If I if I stay on it for too long, I, I get hit. I get withered. You don't want to do that. A chica in the floor, seeing everything as she does. She was the first, after all. I, she better be seeing everything, right? Oh shit! I hate those guys. Those guys are the worst. It's just so fun to just sit on it. I was gonna have them uh, like switch out the stripes so you can tell that they're meant to be moving, but it really hurt to look at. So I uh, I didn't do that. And this guy again. You can see this is where you would probably need that that to happen because I can walk on this one. And you wouldn't you wouldn't have known that otherwise. Something is not right. This is the greatest thing of all time. Look at that. Oh, oh, it's fuck. It's me. It's me. Green glitch trap. That's that's literally me, man. That's that's so cool. That's so cool, guys. That's so cool. Me. In the in the game, they made they added me to Five Nights at Freddy's. On the other side, over here, this is where we get a little bit cooler. If you remember, uh, ooh, it must have been like a year ago by now, well over there, I did Curse of Treadbear's Corn Maze. And I loved that, but, but while it worked for finding keys, I never added 
uh, Grim Foxy. So, if you can guess where I'm going with that, I've got a very special guest in here. There he is. Oh, he's so beautiful. He's so beautiful. And he, he chases you. And the light doesn't work when you walk into trap doors. It kind of breaks with that. Look at Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm really happy with this one. I don't remember who who came up with the suggestion. Uh, but it is to have a villager. What's, what's happening here is that there's a villager underneath me. And a zombie. And the zombie... The, the armor stand is, there's an armor stand being teleported above the zombie at all times, and a, the villager is below me at all times, and the zombie will try to chase the villager, which will cause the armor stand to chase me. It's, it's so cool. And look, 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 oh, he'll even hurt you, he'll even hurt you. It's awesome. There, there's like a copy of the maze below, made of glass, that you can, you can always uh, half find to, to me. It's great. Not my favorite thing, That's, that still goes to the, the, the torches, the, the shadow torches, but this is still awesome. It's, that's, it's so funny. He actually, he's, he works better here than he does in the actual <laughs> Princess Quest game. Because in Princess Quest, he will get stuck on walls. He doesn't get stuck here. So technically speaking, he's better here. Oh, it's so, it's so cool. Ah, oh, there he is. Oh, he can't get you outside of the maze because he's stupid. <laughs> you can see his light. Ooh. Oh, he's so cool. Unfortunately, we have to say goodbye to our mask and head. Such a shame, but that's how it goes. And we got the door. Ooh, spooky. Alright. You uh, you can't hear it because of the, the Mac thing, but there is a gas screen there. And that is all of Princess Quest. And that's that's so cool. It's so cool. It's so cool. Honestly, all of it is really simple, other than the, the shadow thing, which requires a little bit of extra work, but for the most, it's it's awesome. It's so cool. And that is the Princess Quest and Burn Trap uh, William Afton rooms. That includes the uh, the sinkhole, the pizzeria, the uh, burner rooms, as well as Princess Quests one, two, and three. This was this was great, and I love it, and I'm I'm really happy with with all of this. And this, it's it's I can, I genuinely cannot explain how how just so overjoyed I am with with having this here. It's 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 beautiful. It really is. It's not beautiful, but it's awesome regardless. Thank you so much for watching this video. This was so much fun to make. Uh, more importantly, thank you very much to Asbrin and Emily. Uh, Asbrin for helping a lot with Princess Quest, and Emily for playtesting Princess Quest. Uh, you were both big helps, and I really appreciate uh, you doing doing work for me. Because uh, I don't want to do it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I will see you in the next one which will be a crazier one. I would think that Asprin has to do a lot more work for me. Haha, <laughs> loser. Uh, thank you so much for watching. 
I will see you in the next one. And goodbye. Wednesday night, Kevin's car may only be a phone call away. Go full throttle with Cartoon Network's biggest giveaway ever. During the Ben 10 Indian Swarm World premiere, one lucky fan will win Kevin's car. For your chance to win, watch the world premiere where a special 800 number will be revealed. Dial it up. You may drive home a winner. Wednesday night, pick up the phone. Kevin's car is on the line.